So look, if you want to grow your wealth, your income, and increase the amount of time off, then these are the shortcuts that can help. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Podcast. And welcome to Podcast 291 with me, Dan Latoso, and your host of this podcast. In this podcast, we're going to talk to you about trusting the process. Because I get it, you're not where you want to be. You've been putting your effort in, you've been putting your work in, you've watched every Gary Vee video you ever could watch. You listen to all the Grant Cardone <laughs> videos and podcasts. You're taking action, you're creating some content, maybe not enough, but you're creating it. You're phoning people up, you're cold calling, you are emailing your list, you're putting everything out there, and it's still not worked. What do you do? Well, you've got two choices. You can give up and go, nope, this self-employed malarkey, that doesn't work. That property sourcing stuff, phew, that's never going to work. Uh, I'm just going to go get myself a job at, and then insert crappy job right there. Or you can double your efforts because it's going to happen. It might not happen today. It might not happen this week. It might not happen this month. It might not happen this year. And you know the story of the bamboo, you know, the guy plants the bamboo seed and it comes back next year and there's nothing and it comes back next year and there's nothing. 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 It comes back next year and there's a 20 foot bamboo. Because in the first five years, the bamboo is planting seeds, planting its roots, uh, not seeds, roots. And that's what you should be doing. You should be planting your roots and that is what you are doing right now. How long does it take for someone to trust you? Maybe it's a year, maybe it's six minutes. It just depends on who the person is. But if they've never met you and they just saw you on Facebook six months ago, they might not trust you today. But you consistently put out content, go Facebook Live. They're building uh, the trust that you have between you and them. The process, this is the process. It is about falling in love with the system of the process. And if you hate going Facebook Live, that's not you falling in love with the process. Going out live on Facebook is going to work. OK, if you've got a product and other people are selling this product, too, there's no reason why you can't sell a product. You've just not built enough trust yet or your audience isn't big enough yet. And so you've got to put your trust back into that process because the process is going to work. If you're dropping 50,000 leaflets a week and you're not getting any phone calls, keep dropping leaflets. It could be that your leaflets crap as well. And I've seen this. Oh, well, I've dropped 100,000 leaflets and I've not got anything. And I look at the leaflet and I'm like, dude, I'm not surprised you've not got anything. Or fat leaflet. And then I've seen other leaflets, by the way, and they go, it's misspelled and, and it's handwritten. And they go, oh, that'll never work. And then it works. Like 10,000 are dropped and we get four leads and close two deals. And we don't know what works. We don't know what does work. But what we do know is that when you stick with the process and through trial and error and a process of elimination, if you're climbing up the mountain, okay, and you find yourself going sideways, you're never going to get up the mountain. And eventually you realize that and you change direction. And then you start going down the mountain. You're like, hang on, it's getting a bit warmer. Uh, and there's more greenery around here. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. And then you turn around and you start going up. And then it starts getting colder. And then it starts snowing. And then you're heading up towards the top of Mount Everest, let's just say. That's trial and error, getting rid of the bits that aren't working and heading you towards the bits that are working. And eventually you get there. And most people give up far, far too early. Most people give up three minutes into doing it. Well, you know, I want to be a multimillionaire this time next week, next month, next year. Insert whatever your time scale is. And then because you've not got there, people give up. The problem is what's the alternative? The alternative is to go back into being average, into a life of doing whatever everybody else does. I don't know what that is. But that's not for me. And I know that's not for you. That's why you listen to these podcasts. Persistence is the key. Commitment is the key. Focus is the key. Falling in love with the process is the key. And this podcast isn't about focus and it's not about commitment and it's not about never giving up. It's about falling in love with the process. Because when you fall in love with the process, it's no longer work anyway. You love doing what you're doing. I love doing podcasts. Let's say we close zero business off the podcast. We would still do the podcast because we know that people get value from them. Trust the process. Stick with it. You've got a plan. If it's a good plan, you keep with the plan. And not all plans are good, by the way. That's why having a mastermind or other people to talk about your plan, that's why we create the mastermind uh, product. 
it's not a lot of money you can get to come into our mastermind group on Facebook and we go live and we share wins and we share losses and we share all sorts of different things and you can share your business plan people go what the hell is that and you go okay I'll change it and then you change it and they go yeah that's better and you're using you know group effort group think to help you move forward but eventually you have to fall in love with a process because if you hate going Facebook live you're not going to go Facebook Live once or twice or three times a day. Should you go Facebook Live once or twice or three times a day? Well, it certainly depends. You could go live in a group, live on your main um, personal page, and then live on your pers on your business page. And then you record a video, and then you upload it to your LinkedIn, and then you take that video and you upload it to YouTube. There are lots and lots of things, extra things that you could be doing. But what I found is that when things are not working properly, it's usually a marketing problem. Fall in love with creating content. We just created uh, something a couple of days ago, and it's called the 90-10 rule. It's not the 80-20 rule. That's Kotler's rule. Um, I think it was Kotler. Um, the 90-10 rule is where out of 100% of marketing, you create the 10%. We take that 10% and we turn it into another 90%. So you're only creating a small amount of content, and then we take all of that, and then we create bigger stuff out of it. And that's what you should be doing. Fall in love with the process. Create smaller pieces of content, but enjoy what you're doing. And if you don't enjoy what you're doing going live on Facebook, I think it's usually because you're trying to pretend to be somebody else. And that's really hard. I'm not surprised most people don't enjoy that. Whereas what we've found is that when you just relax back into it and you try and be you, not Tony Robbins and not whoever, you know, someone on TV who you like, but you just be you. And this is, you know, in the last uh, podcast, we talked about being authentic. And this is about you falling in love with a process. Be yourself. Continue doing it. You know you've got the plan. You know the plan's a good plan. Now you've just got to put the work in and keep going until you get the result. Most people work until they get tired or they get fed up. Whereas when you keep working until you get the result, you're going to get the result at some point. And that is because you've got uh, trust in the process. So trust what you're doing. You're on the right path. you just got to keep going. You've just not done it enough. You know, like when you're learning to walk, your parents didn't go, nah, we'll just, he's not a walker. They trusted in the process of learning to walk. And that's exactly what you've got to do as well. Right now in your business, you're learning something new. And whenever you're learning something new, you're never going to be good at it. How is that even possible to be great at something the first time you did it? My Facebook lives were dreadful. And even now, I still think we're not brilliant. And yet other people go, that was awesome. Oh, thank you very much. Fall in love with the process. Keep doing it. You'll get better at it, better at it, better at it. And when you get to the point where you're very, very good, that's when the magic might happen. But you never get to the point where you're very, very good if you don't fall in love with the process and actually take the action that you need to take. So let's just say, for example, that on podcast 200, when you get there, you know that you'll be really good. Great. And then what do most people do? I'm not doing a podcast. No, no, no. Because I'm not going to be very good until podcast 200. But it's back to fun. Why don't you just do 200 podcasts? Do, you know, 10 a day for the next 20 days. Perfect. Of, of Facebook Lives. 10 a day for the next 20 days. There's your 200. By uh, day 21, you're now perfect. Well, certainly much better. The first 20, uh, the first 200, I should say, are just trial runs. Well, this is podcast 291. My first couple of podcasts, and we did interviews because uh, I wasn't confident in my own ability just to speak for 20 minutes or 40 minutes or 10 minutes or however long this podcast going to be. But through the podcast, we learn. We learn to be authentic and we learn that people listen because we get feedback. Um, you know, I was listening to you in the car yesterday, Dan, and you hit that one point, that one little point in that 10-minute podcast. Boy, that's turned me around as that. That's exactly what I needed to listen to. But they might not have got that in podcast 200. Or podcast 250. Maybe it's taken them to get to podcast 290 to get to that point where my podcasts are good enough. And that's because I trust the process. When I look at the stats on podcasts, if I'm putting a podcast out once a week, the numbers are really low. When I'm putting a podcast out every day, the numbers aren't just double or triple or seven, seven X, you know. The, there's a, a mathematical formula that's taking place because now we've got momentum behind the podcast. But my first podcast were dreadful. Maybe not completely dreadful, but they certainly weren't as good as they are now. That's what I think, anyway. And maybe they are worse now than they were before, because I'm just rattling on about any old crap. 
Who knows? But I do know that when we trust the process, the process is get your message out to as many people as you can. Some are going to love you. Some are going to hate you. But people who hate you, they're never going to do business anyway, so they might as well hate you up front. Those that love you, they're going to love you more. They're going to come on to your, you know, the two-day war room event here in Spain. Are they going to join a mastermind group? Or they're going to sign up for coaching or property coaching? Or they're going to take the property sourcing course? Or they're going to sign up for the content delivery uh, on social media through a digital marketing agency? But we know that the process works, and so we just stick with the process. Are we perfect at it all the time? Of course not. Do we make mistakes? Of course we do. We're just like everybody else, human. But we know that the process will get us to where we want to get to. So we don't give it up just because we've not got there yet. So stick with the process and let's catch up with you in the next podcast. Hey, it's Dan here. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Please click like or subscribe to the entire podcast.